What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Record of Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. And today we have the Airlines International fifth preparation video for 2024 at Kansas City from June 26th to 29th, 2024. I really hope all of you are excited for today's video. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. JJ, thank you so much for being here, man. Hope that you're doing fantastic. How are you doing today? And you're ready to preview and get our final preparation in here for the show at Kansas City this year. I'm doing great. Very excited to get into the last little bit of details here for Kansas City, which is going to be five days away. It'll be about four or less by the time this video comes out, but we are getting very close. Absolutely. I'm super excited for it. And disregard the background, we're actually at the Boston parking garage right now at the airport because I've been on a mega trip and this is the best accommodations I could come up with uh, to make this video for all of you today. So hopefully all of you are excited for this as we have a bunch going on and feel free to refer to previous videos in my Instagram page regarding uh, what trip I've been on and how it's been going. It's been uh, massive to say the least. But nevertheless, we're here for Airlines International, which is next week. I'm super excited for it and hope all of you are as well. Let's get started. As they say, all caps, wow, just like wow air. Airlines International number 47, MCI is next week. Everybody's looking forward to it in the heart of America. So we do have some final details to clarify on that we talked about in the previous preparation video earlier this month. Uh, so let's go ahead and clarify those. First, registration opens Tuesday at 4 p.m. and it will be open uh, for various periods, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And you're also gonna find that we now have the uh, welcome party on Thursday night confirmed, and that's going to be at 6 p.m. in the August Gage room at the Hilton Hotel. Uh, John Javison is going to be presenting Kansas City, a history of the airlines and airports in the heartland in a special, a special film presentation. I'm really excited for this. This is going to be a really great uh, opportunity. I was thinking it was going to be that baseball game for sure, but it turns out that we're going to be having a really cool presentation. And quite frankly, I think this is going to be really cool considering that we're going to have aviation involved, which is what I've highlighted on previously. Last year, we went to the Grapevine excursion and 2022, of course, we went to the uh, Chicago Dogs baseball game. I think it's going to be nice for it to be aviation themed. And personally, I'm a really big fan of what we're going to be doing here. And it's going to be a special. We know how we feel about the specials around here. So I'm really excited for it. And I think it's going to be great. So JJ, what do you think about the confirmation for the welcome reception on Thursday night? And how are you feeling about this really exciting history of airlines and airports in the heartland? I think it's going to be great. I think it's a nice shakeup compared to what they've had the last couple of years. Um, 2022 was a baseball game, a minor league, and then last year was the Harvest Hall excursion in Dallas up in uh, Grapevine, just north of the airport. So this will be a nice shakeup, and that way we don't have to travel anywhere. All we have to do is just go down to the lobby, find the Osage room, and enjoy a little special, as you like to say. Really excited for it. I'm really glad that it's going to be aviation themed. I think that's really going to help out, and it's going to be awesome. And if you are uh, looking for vendor tables, there are a few of those available due to cancellations. Saturday Night Banquet's going to be featured Nola Phillips, as we talked about on the last preparation video, which is going to be fun. So a couple video or a couple tickets still available for that if you're interested. In conjunction with the night uh, Friday night at the Prop BBQ, which is going to be at the TWA Museum. So excited for that! It's going to be great. And safe to say, we have a full schedule, and we'll be looking at that here in just a moment. Here's some details about parking for any of you that are going to be driving. It's going to be free parking, which is great, and parking is also going to be free for day attendees so it's going to be awesome that's the main hint but we'll have a more in-depth video about this by the end of next week for sure probably sometime during the show at this point i would think uh if it does get announced prior we will talk about it more many widgets at next year's airlines international 2025 i'm so excited for that uh we're gonna we'll spend more time on that here in the very coming days so i'm really excited to talk about that so within a week we'll have a very in-depth video talking about this all to expect uh safe to say that we're going to be seeing some bigger aircraft and uh really great action plane spotting wise but it's going to be just as great as what 2024 show is going to be so that's the hint i think we all know what direction that's going so i'm thrilled to make that video it's going to be great and safe to say that we are going in a really great division uh, direction going to the largest airport we've been to yet. So super excited for that. JJ, what do you think about these uh, complimentary details and any other information you want to talk about from this uh, email we got? Well, good thing that parking is free and the breakfast is also going to be free for up to four people. That will also be very nice since the Hyde Regency last year had quite a bit of trouble with the breakfast. There was plenty available at the hotel, but it was expensive. Definitely not budget friendly. So that'll be nice to have for Kansas City. And then looking at the widgets, I've said it for several months, it's going to be Atlanta. And I think that, I said this before, I think that is the best way to confirm something without actually confirming something. So I would anticipate it being Atlanta for 2025. Um, I don't want to say it's confirmed, 
but I think it's pretty much assured that we will probably be in Atlanta next year. We're hoping for the official announcement to come out in the coming days as well, so we'll be keeping a very close eye on that and we'll be announcing that information as soon as it becomes available. I think the deal's been sold, but we will definitely uh, continue to await that. And when the information is public and announced, we will definitely be here to make a very exciting video on that very soon. So here's the schedule once again. Uh, just a brief overlook. Feel free to re refer to the previous videos for a more in-depth uh, an analysis, but we'll go into our schedules here to give you a better idea. JJ will also be posting a video in the coming days regarding his exact schedule, but it will uh, mirror mine pretty well. So going to be awesome. But here's a uh, brief lineup of all of what's going on. So that's going to be really great and really excited for all of that. Uh, we talked about the seminar schedule in the last video, but feel free to take a look at this write-up for all that. And we talked about all this, Noel uh, with the banquet, Saturday night speaker, that's going to be awesome. And all of this is awesome. A couple of non-airline related opportunities there if you're interested. And I believe the rest of this is still right. Uh, there are still limited tour availability options available if you're interested. So feel free to check that out. And all of that's really great. Seminar schedule one more time and pretty much all of what we've seen previously. So let's go ahead and get into some practical details regarding the schedule because this was the part that we were waiting to finalize. And this is my official schedule for Airlines International 2024. Let's go ahead and get started. On Wednesday, I'll be arriving in the morning. It will be a surprise. You'll see what's going on follow me on instagram for more information on that the first event will be the tristar experience l1011 number 2 2 15 to 4 p.m and our spotting meetup has been confirmed which will be taking place in the parking garage on the southwest corner of it on the seventh floor from 5 p.m to 9 p.m i'm super excited for that it's going to be a great opportunity i'll uh, try to get a more detailed graphic uh, by the time this video comes out and put it on the screen but nevertheless we'll be utilizing the hilton airport shuttle from the host hotel and we'll be taking that over to the airport and from there we can take the elevators and or stairs up to the seventh level of the parking garage in the southwest corner. It's looking like it's probably going to be a sunny evening. So I know that means it's probably going to be backlit pictures, but we can maybe hope for a cirrus cloud, get a little bit of all the mix. Economically, it was the most uh, ideal option for all of us. Unfortunately, getting a bus for an event like this was not economically possible. In conjunction with uh, me getting a rental car, that would have been hundreds of dollars that I would have been out on that for uh, the light on the aircraft. I think the more practical opportunity for us in this immediate moment is enjoying our, uh, each other's company and watching the aircraft a little bit closer up so that'll be a huge advantage of it relative to the light and again these summer thunderstorms always produce uh, anvils and cirrus clouds always develop so i wouldn't be surprised if we get some sort of evening cloud on that anyway but if it is sunny that's perfectly fine too so anyway that's going to be taking place then. I'll have a better graphic on the screen so you can see what I'm referring to, but it's going to be absolutely awesome. On Thursday, we have the uh, various events, including three seminars from Tom Lizzie, Todd Michaels, and uh, hopefully David's as well. And you can see the times listed there. And of course, we'll have the collectibles show day one going on during the whole duration from 12 to 6 p.m. And the welcome reception, which has now been confirmed to be the MCI Aviation History by John, will be taking place from 6 to 10 p.m. So I'm really excited for all of that, and it should be really great. So plenty going on that day. We're going to be bouncing between seminars collectible show welcome reception it's a full schedule so uh safe to say good news is it's looking like it's not going to be crazy terrible hot but it will be pretty warm at kansas city in the low 90s but the good news is most of our events are going to be inside so we definitely have that going for us but i'm really excited for all these events and if you want more information on how i feel about all of it in detail the first four preparation videos are for you but nevertheless this fifth preparation video going forward for airlines international was going to be really just highlighting the key details of new information along with the full outline of what's going on on friday of course we also have the two seminars the collectible show from approximately 9 to 12 and 3 to 5 along with with the Jetman West Tour number seven from 1.15 to 3 p.m. And we're also gonna have Friday night at the BBQ, and that's gonna be taking Friday night at the Props Drive, the BBQ, which is taking place from 5.30, 8.30 at the TWA uh, uh, Museum downtown. So really excited for that. It's gonna be a really fun event. On Saturday, all remains the same, I believe, as well. Uh, I don't think there's any substantial changes, but we have the possibility of two seminars, but for sure one, along with the collectible show from 9 to 3, along with the banquet dinner, which Noel Phillips will be the uh, footnote speaker there, 6.30 uh, p.m. to 11 p.m. In the departure plan will be a surprise. I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to be making several references to that, and that will be the mega end to this uh, massive trip I've been on this month. It's been quite the experience, and I'll make a more in-depth video at a later time detailing all that, but if you want to see the first half of what I did uh, across the pond. You can check out that video that I posted on Friday, June 21st, 2024. So yeah, what a schedule we have here. Safe to say that we're going to be packing in seminars, tours, ballroom, welcome reception, uh, BBQ, banquet. 
it's going to be a busy one. And I'm really glad to see it fully packed in, solidified. Uh, keep in mind, we'll also have plenty of excursions. I do uh, plan with all of you to do the annual model airport. So really excited for that, along with obviously uh, plenty of other lounging activities in the uh, hotel lobby, so on and so forth. So safe to say that we're going to have plenty of time to go off this, but we do have a really full schedule here. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited for it, and it's going to be an absolute blast. So JJ, what do you think about the schedule? What do you think about all the events going on? Any complimentary information or any tidbits you want to tell my fans about and everybody attending Airlines International 2024? Oh my goodness. It's a packed schedule for you, and it's going to be a packed schedule for me. Just make sure that you can get, you can do as many things as you possibly can at airliners. It's it's so awesome to be here at the convention and with all the opportunities that we have for the seminars and the tours and even as Connor suggested, a, a little annual model airport update with a few friends of us. That's also going to be very fun. It's just going to be a great time. So be sure to hit up these seminars and any tours that you can if you have them booked already because I think the tour cutoff is already going to have passed by the time this video comes out and it will probably have, it, I think it has already passed uh, as, as we are recording this video so you probably won't be able to get to any tours here anytime soon and I believe the online registration because um, I know that closes pretty soon as well but they will have the registration desk there so if you haven't registered yet you could probably do it there you can get, get that done at the hotel but either way airliners is coming up rather quickly it's going to be a blast a lot of fun things for both of us and as connor said i'll have my own video talking about my own plans for airliners in kansas city that'll be coming out in a few days time sorry about that everybody unfortunately uh, the diy setup's a little tough as my microphone cut out but i'll try to do my best to replicate what i just said so anyway it's going to be so much fun i'm looking so forward to this year's airliners international convention definitely check out the website with all the sources you need from the registration to the vendor information to the hotel information i believe there's still limited availability at the uh, best western east hotel which is right next to the hilton mci so definitely uh, check that out if you have any additional um, last second opportunity to come it's even worth it even if you can just do a day trip it's such a fun event and it really just has sparked uh, so much additional love for aviation. Obviously, I've always had a love for it and have always been engaging, but it's so tough doing it over the internet. And that's why I give so much uh, thanks and gratitude to uh, Chris Limmer, Bill Demarest, and all the volunteers and everybody from both Airlines International and World Airlines Historical Society that make this possible. Airlines International has completely changed my life, and it's been such an absolute, uh, I don't even know what the words are to really describe the impact that this convention's had on my life. It's been truly incredible. I'm sure many of you feel the same way but it's certainly my favorite week of the year getting to interact with all my fellow aviation enthusiasts and it's going to be an awesome show going from uh kansas city obviously it's going to be a great show with all the unique tours and uh seminars that we're going to get to do with the awesome aviation history that the airport has and then obviously next year we're going to continue to just continue to build momentum with uh with the hints that we talked about previously so i am so excited for this and i hope each and every one of you are as well safe to say this is going to be a very unique and really fun show from all the uh, people that we've seen over the last two years to obviously all the new faces that we're going to meet. It's going to be so much fun and so excited to continue to spread more awareness and recognition for this convention as it's been a game changer in my life. I'm sure JJ's as well. And I'm so excited and I really hope all of you enjoyed what we talked about today. So JJ, any final information for this fifth and final preparation video for Airlines International 2024 at the DF, or sorry, this is going to be at Kansas City International Airport. I apologize. At the Hilton hotel it's going to be awesome i'm super excited for it so any final additional details that you have here to share for us today all right so i just want to quickly clarify one thing with the online registration it will have shut down by the time that this video goes out um, it's actually shutting down friday night at 7 p.m central time so just wanted to point that out um, so you won't be able to register online anymore if you haven't yet um, and also the tour register the tour sign up and everything that will also close at the same time i imagine um, but again, the registration will be, the desk will open on Tuesday afternoon. I think it's 4 p.m. if I remember correctly. Let me just fact check myself real quick. But it is on uh, Tuesday afternoon. Um, yes, 4 p.m., 4 to 6 p.m. on Tuesday. So if you want to register, you can do it there and you can get that taken care of. But it definitely helps to do it online just so you don't have to, you don't have to go through that process in person. Um, but yeah, just wanted to quickly clarify on that one thing real quick before... I, I didn't I not necessarily that I would have said anything wrong or inaccurate but just wanted to clarify on that real quick with the online registration but as for airliners as a whole I'm very excited about it less than a week away we've got just a few days left so any last minute plans better make them or else well I guess we'll see you next year yes but yeah 
other than that, I'm very excited. Going to be a blast, guys. I'm so excited for it. Definitely check out the playlist in preparation for it. It's so much fun and looking so forward to it. And don't feel bad if you're not able to attend this year. The good news is now that you're seeing this video, you can start to prepare for 2025, which is going to be awesome as well. But let's start with 2024. It's going to be awesome convention, a very unique one. I'm so excited for it. So excited to see all of you there. It's going to be a blast and definitely refer to some of the other videos. And uh, I know I haven't made a video sitting down uh, in a little bit. So I just want to say real quick, thank you everybody so much for all your support regarding my most recent trip. It's been an absolute blast so far, and I'm really excited to bring so much unique value and content to my channel regarding that. And it's so awesome to get the pair with a big airline show like this, and it's going to be so much fun. So really looking forward to it, and I hope all of you are as well, and it's going to be an absolute blast. But with all that being said, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and one of you for watching. My name is Dredger of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do you love and love what you do? My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you all at the Airliners International 2024 convention at Kansas City International Airport as Red River Aviation is signing off.